I would like to braise an artichoke, serve it with a saffron aquafaba mayonnaise and a salad. What's a saffron aquafaba mayonnaise? It's a mayonnaise uh, made without any eggs. So in place of the eggs is the water from beans for chickpea water. OK, I'm going to learn something here. Show me, please. Firstly, you just want to get the saffron sort of soaking so that, that the colour really runs through this. And then I'm going to get on preparing the artichoke, because that takes a while to cook. Artichoke heart or the whole artichoke? The heart of the artichoke. You know, there's a lot to lose on here, so it's much easier for the knife to cut through if you remove the outer leaves. These are really tough. So you just keep peeling them off until you get to, to the lighter leaves. If they don't know what they're doing, they could be in danger of just chopping it down to absolutely nothing. Right, so now I'm going to use a spoon to remove the choke, or just the, the furry, spiky bit. All that choke's got to come out, hasn't it? Otherwise, you get a mouthful of hairy fibre. It's a fantastic skill. It's great to see a chef prep an artichoke. That's what I'm looking for, and this is everything that comes off the artichoke. Right, beautiful. So I've just boiled some water here. I'm going to drop a bit of vinegar. This is just to keep the artichoke from discolouring while it's cooking. So I've just dropped some thyme, some rosemary, just some flavour through the, the artichoke. I'm going to put a lid on. OK, and I'm going to leave that to cook. Anything from sort of five to seven minutes. I am going to make the mayonnaise now with, with the aquafaba. Okay. Now this I need to see. In the bowl, I've got mustard, the saffron that's been soaking in the aquafaba liquid. I'm going to add a little bit more of the aquafaba to it and then whisk that up. That is thickening up like an egg yolk. That's remarkable. When you see it thicken, you start adding your oil. Well, the process is no different at all from using an egg. Yes, and you add all the oil in too quick, it'll just split. You know, if you, if you whisk it in too much, it won't bind. OK, so I've just checked my artichoke. For me, it's cooked. I'm going to take it out to cool. If it's going in the salad, we don't want this artichoke being piping hot. So we've got some beautiful rocket salads, some radishes, carrots, there's olives. I'm going to use some of the chickpeas as well in mine. And I'm making a little pickling liquid, because uh, it's just nice to add a bit of pickle through this and we're ready to plate. OK, so I have my mayonnaise. Mm. Chickpeas and olives. Pickled carrots on here. Oh, that's really lovely. There we have it, my braised artichoke with aquafaba and saffron mayonnaise with a salad. Oh, Monica, that is just beautiful.